Hello guys and welcome to another Hyperion video. Today we're going to be printing the elements of a linked list. Yeah, we will. Alright, so I don't know about you guys, but when I was in college, uh, when I learned about linked lists, it wasn't the easiest thing for me. Just because my idea of references were pretty bad. But after years of actually programming in C, and when I say C, linked lists are your best friends in C. Right, because if you're not dealing with arrays, you're pretty much dealing with linked list. All right. Um, so in this video, we're going to be printing the elements of a linked list. This is probably the easiest operation you can do on a linked list. So what's a linked list? So a linked list is just a bunch of nodes that reference it references one another. All right. So for example. Normally, our single linked list nodes will have different types of structure, but when I create mine, normally I do it as a template so that the data it's whatever we decide to pass it in. Anyway, for this one, we're going to be taking an int and then we have a reference to the next node, All right? So, how does this actually look? And we're just going to talk about this to make it clearer for those of us that had issues while we we're in college. Uh, so in this case, what we're going to do is we're going to have a node, right? And the node is going to, let's just have some nodes. Okay. A bunch of nodes, three nodes. Okay. So the node has two parts. One is the data and the next, the other one is the reference to the next node. So this node is going to have the data five and a reference to this node and this node is going to have the data six and it's going to have a reference to this node and this node is going to have the value seven okay so here we're going to know that this n node is going to be null because it doesn't have a reference to another thing right so this is this doesn't point to anything, so the reference here is going to be null. Whereas this is going to have the reference of this node, and this is going to have the reference of this node. So how does this work? Well, the topmost node is going to be known as the head. All right. Ah, bad handwriting. This is going to be as known as the head. So how do we actually print this out? Well, the first thing we have to do is we have to check to see if the head is not null. Okay, so if the head is not null, right, we're gonna print the value, and then we're gonna assign this one as the next head, all right, or as the current head. So we're just gonna go ahead and lose this guy right here, and we're gonna make this guy the new head, and we're gonna check to see if that's not null. Right, and if that's not no, then we make this guy the next head, and we just bring the values as we go through. So eventually, this is going to be no, right? Once we get here, this is going to be no. We print out the value, and then um, we're done. So let's go ahead and do that. So we're gonna say that wow, uh, the head is not equal to no. Then we're gonna go ahead and print the data. So this is system dot out dot print line. And we're gonna do head dot data. All right. And then what we're going to do is reassign the head. So we're gonna say the head is gonna to equal to head dot next. So head dot next here. So remember that this head has a next value and the next value is pointing to this node. So when we say head is going to equal head dot next, we're just saying that this is going to be the new head, right? Because we're reassigning the head to this guy because this guy had a reference to this guy. So now we're going to make this guy the new head. All right. And then when we go ahead and you know, print the value for here, we're going to make this guy, this guy's be pointing to this guy. We're gonna make this the new head, but there, this is null. So even though the value is seven, 
This is null, so this is going to end at 7. So we're going to print out 5, 6, and 7. Okay. So this is pretty much it for this. Let's run it. And submit. Alright guys, this will be it for this problem. I will see you guys in the next node problem. Bye-bye.